sakit keras. Ini permintaan terakhir dia. Romo pernah nggak ngomong sama kalian tentang yang namanya Cengya? Bokap gue itu lagi cari orang yang ada di foto ini. Mimpi saya adalah menciptakan kretek terbaik. Tapi di dunia kretek, perempuan hanya boleh menjadi pelinting saja. Capek untuk pemainan Eroko. Saya punya ide untuk saus baru. Tidak bisa perempuan ada di ruang saus. Kamu ingin membuktikan sesuatu pada dunia. Dan saya ingin menjadi bagian dari itu. Bayu tidak apa-apa. Welcome back to the Sea Morning Show and that was the trailer for Gadis Kretek or Cigarette Girl directed by Camila Andini and Eva Isfansha. The film unfolds the journey of a gifted artisan's love and discovery to find traditions with an Indonesia's closed cigarette industry in the 1960s. And this morning we have the director Camila Andini right here in the studio to talk about her series in our signature segment series talk. Good morning, Madini. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Hi. And congratulations. Yeah. The series was amazing. Ah, thank you. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm out of words mm -hmm. because the soundtrack itself is Wow, phenomenal. It was phenomenal. <laughs> it was phenomenal. It was phenomenal. And, right. uh, and, and, and very unexpected. Yeah. The songs that were put in, in the series. Yeah. yeah. I didn't expect that it will be there. Oh. So, yeah. So you didn't expect that that Chris's song. Yeah, would... yeah. Okay. But it fits perfectly. Very okay. perfect. Perfectly. And Zina Miza performed it very, very beautifully. Mm -hmm. Now, um, let us take you back to um, the first moment when you realize you want to adapt. Uh, this story, Gadis Kretek from Rati Kumala's novel into this series. What was it like for you then? What made you feel like, okay, this is the right story? Well, actually, uh, Cigarette Girl or Gadis Kretek is Mas Iva and Rati Kumala's long dream. Wow. So, Mas Iva was, uh, he read the draft of the novel back in 2011, the late, late of 2011. Mm -hmm. Um, when Rati about to launch the novel, and he loves it, so he he said to Rati right away, we should make it into, uh, yeah, to a movie actually. Oh. Okay. Like so they want to make it into a movie. Mm -hmm. So I read it back then as well. Mm -hmm. um, so they started to create a scenario script mm -hmm. uh, to make it into a movie, and then trying to put it like give it to a lot of producers, but. As you see, Gadis Kretek is a story that is quite complex yeah. and it's very chronicle. Yeah. A lot of layers, a lot of characters, a lot of yeah. uh, period uh, time as well. So it wasn't really easy to find producers that actually wanted <laughs> to produce this story. Is it because of the budget or...? The... <laughs> One of them, of course. It's a very big... You canvas. just addressed the elephant in the room, <laughs> right away. <laughs> yes, I mean, it's a very big canvas. Yeah. So in 2019, um, like eight years later, uh, when I was shooting uni at that time, mm -hmm. um, Shanti Harmine, uh, the showrunner of this uh, series, calling she's one of the producer that um miss ifa was like giving the the script and the book to and then she called and what if we make it serious because back then there was no ott back then mm -hmm. now with the ott and the platform coming yeah. in with the series mm -hmm. game is also coming in she thinking that maybe it's one of the options yeah. to, to to make it into a series so rati and ifa started to think about it mm -hmm. and they want they like okay let's try mm -hmm. but then one of the thing that they think as well seeing a discrete like as a as a series today um, they want it also to have and one of one of the important thing in the book is also about women empowerment yeah of course so they want to develop it with a very specific and also strong um, female perspective mm -hmm. on it that's when actually they asked me to to join the project. Um, they want to know my angle or intakes if I wanted to create this story. So one of the things we think 
we we talk about the changes from the novel to to the series, the characters, how I want to portray it, and yeah, a lot of things. So that's how. Wow. That's how it all started. Yeah, that's how. Yeah. That's how it all began back in 2018, 2019. Back in 2019, yeah. All right. So, uh, I've actually watched a couple of episodes of uh, Secret Girl. I haven't finished it, <laughs> but this series takes place in two different eras, mm -hmm. in the 60s and in the 2000s. Yes. So, which scene is the hardest to direct? Um, both is really hard. I mean, this 1960s, of course, it's very heavy. You have to create the world where you don't actually live back then. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, so you have to you have to do a lot of research and you have to know the context and also the story in, in the 1960s is, is also very, very heavy. But thankfully for me and Ifa, uh, Mas Ifa made Sang Penari before, the dancer, which also sat in the 1960s. And I just made my last film before now and then, which also sat in the 1960s. So in a way, as a director, we already have our own research with our previous films that we kind of, so we're not starting from zero yeah. in a way with this series. But it, that's the heavy of 1960s. But 2001, even when it felt like, oh, it's 2000, but it's yeah. like what? 12 almost, years ago. Yeah. Almost 20 years. Yeah, almost almost 20, 22 years ago. 22 years ago. And I just realized like, oh, 2001 is a long time <laughs> Yeah, and it's, ago. And, and it's a different era from now. So you have to do more research yes. on what actually happened. <laughs> what was it like in, back in 20, 2001? Oh, yeah. Right? So okay. it was kind of like challenging and also to make both worlds. Because you see the stories is sort of like back to yeah. back. Mm -hmm. Back and forth. It goes back, back and, and forth. forth. Back and forward. And so how to to make the transition, to yeah. make everything feel very connected, even when it's very come for, from very different eras. So yeah, that's, I very, think, the challenging. I think you did a very nice job because it's very seamless, you know, the transition mm -hmm. between the two periods. Yeah. And, and it was uh, beautifully told. And also, um, we want to know, aside from women empowerment, you have mm -hmm. mentioned before, you, you mentioned uh, this is a story about women empowerment, but what else, what sort of message do you want to convey um, through this series? Because do you consider yourself a feminist or? Yes, I am, you of are. course. <laughs> <laughs> so what other message do you want um, the women to know and also the um, audience? I think one of the interesting about, about um, Gadis Kretek is it, it touched a lot of layers. Mm. Um, it's uh, the main plot is a very romance, epic romance mm. drama, yeah. which uh, I want the audience as engaged as possible yes. on the romance story. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Are you a big fan of romance, Ralphie? Not right now. <laughs> Not right now okay. In the right timing. In the right timing. Okay, continue. continue go on. Go on. <laughs> and then, and then um, we have the um, Kretek industry yeah. as a backdrop of the story, which is one of the biggest industry as well in Indonesia, yeah. and it's very authentic to Indonesia as well. The story and the and the background of the setting, and then we also have a political situation yeah. that happened so. back then that creates mm -hmm. a lot of tension. <laughs> Tension and you know pain as yes. well in all of the characters um, towards the the story and and yeah of course woman empowerment I mean when you see the Sia Jangia you know how progressive she is as a woman yeah, back then but we also see how much she has a lot of limitation yeah. to pursue her dreams but in this story in this series um, I got a chance to also develop another character that coming from the more modern era which is Arum that is from yes. 2001 and I, ha uh, I have this opportunity to create a very different kind of woman mm -hmm. kind of modern and progressive woman in a different era so when you see Arum you know like when when the time is moved and things are different when the situation are better mm -hmm. you can be much better woman you can be yeah. yourself you, you have can, a lot of options yes you can speak um for your your own voice yeah. you can pursue your dream whatever whatever it is so i hope 
that the spirit of the Sia woman that actually lived back then can be kept with us as a woman that lives today to 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 do more mm -hmm. and to yeah elevate more I think yeah 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 that's a nice message yeah there. and this series also has an extreme complex story right yes. combines romance it has history in it and culture mm -hmm. so from all of that what was the biggest challenges in directing and discretic and the directing of Gadis Kretek is, I mean, when, I, when they ask me to direct the story, I know that the story needs a very de detailed craftsmanship and yeah, storytelling. Because you see, you need to sort of like sew everything together and bound every detail together um, with the move, a back and forward story. Um, you want to... There are a lot of ensemble of character, which is um, everyone, not everyone has a very, a lot of screen time, but everyone need to have their own um, purpose through the story. And that I think one of the challenges, the hardest challenges is the ensemble of the character, how to make everyone is actually um, perform yeah. um, and show their strength through, and then involve in the story. And the second thing is also to create the world. Um, that's, I think, the hardest part. When you see Gadis Kretek, I hope you enjoy how we create the world of, of Dacia and, and Arum. Yeah. Of course, of course, because we know um, Dacia made a big impact, you know, throughout the series. Um, we, see, we see her as this very strong character, but very complex also. Now, um, Dian Sastro performed it very well, very, very nicely. Now, I want to know, um, the minute you, uh, you see this character, Dacia, um, what comes in your mind? Um, is it... Is it Naturally, okay, I want it to be the ancestral who played it, or yeah, what, um, what was it like? Well, I want to work with the ancestral for a long time. <laughs> it's all of our national high school sweethearts, I think. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, and an actor, as an actor as well, she's one of the uh, young women mm -hmm. that when I was in high school also that plays in in one of the first. Indonesian films after Reformation. Yeah. So she's more than just an actor. She's also an icon. Yeah. Um, so when when I think about Dacia, as I said before, what I want the audience to get is actually her spirit. I yeah. want the audience to remember Jangia mm -hmm. in their mind. So when when we do things, mm -hmm. we remember her. Yeah. So in a way. Um, we also think about Dian since the beginning because we know how much she has a very big presence yeah. um, in front of the camera and we know how much determination she has an, as, as an actor as well to portray what she believes in. Um, so I felt like um, being Dacia is not just about telling the stories mm. but it's about also conveying the power and the message and the voice. Did she say yes the minute you call her? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> right away. Oh uh, yeah, we want to work together for quite some time ah. already. So when we so meet, like, oh yeah, we hope we have something to to be able to work together. So uh, when we see the opportunity, both of us, mm -hmm. like both her and me, and we're like, okay, let's do it. <laughs> let's create this year and Jung. Right. Yeah, yeah. But she. The, the hardest part is that Dacia was quite very different character than Dian oh, Sastro. Yeah? Mm -hmm. It's like 180 oh. degrees different. So it was tough for her and also for us as the directors. Um, so we need to create a very different kind of daily uh -oh. life for okay. her as well to be able to, to be Dacia. So she has to learn a new method like mm. Suzuki method she has Aww. to she cannot she loves sport by the way and but she can't do a lot of sport she can, she, she can actually move a lot she yeah, has to be really poised be all the time poised. exactly 
So she has to bring everything together for <laughs> Jungya for quite some time. And I know it's hard, but she made Okay. Did she learn a lot about, you know, the... Yes, yes. The, we have... What do you call it? Ting uh, Ling Tingwe. Tingwe. Yeah. Ting Ting She's actually a pro. I mean, <laughs> we, we had a workshop and she got it right away. Oh, okay. Nice. And, wow. Uh, <laughs> and so, yeah. <laughs> it, it's comes natural. Natural. But it's it comes natural. naturally. It comes naturally. Just natural. hidden talent. Yeah. Hidden you know, talent. I've never yeah. known it before until the workshop. Okay. <laughs> so, did you know? Did you know that uh, Cigarette Girl has reached the top ten for non-English Netflix series with 1.9 million views? Wow! My baby. Congratulations. Sorry, 1.6 million views. I'm mistaken the six with the nine. <laughs> 1.6 million views. And how did you feel uh, when you know uh, that? This series has reached the top 10. Yeah, I got a news two days ago. Mm -hmm. um, of course, it's uh, it's such a good news for all yeah. of us who work really, really hard for this uh, series. I mean, one of the things that we wanted when we created also how much we want the story is not only for Indonesian, we want this story because this is a very authentic story from yeah. our own land and, yeah. and world Culture, so yeah. we want it to be portrayed also and engage also as to as many audience as possible so when we got uh, the news we thought like oh so there are people who also <laughs> engage to this did you expect it to be this successful not really <laughs> i mean it was, it's it's kind of um i mean i made some films before i didn't realize it's can be quite cultured, yeah. con connected, and it's well. very trendy. I might say mm -hmm. really? because because oh, uh, I think I, I always feel like uh, when you talk about culture, women empowerment, it's gonna be boring and all. But this one, this is very trendy. This is also <laughs> the thing that we we discuss as a as a team, and also I mean when I make. A creation. I trying to make it into a contemporary world yeah. instead of like a very. Even though the story is very classic, yeah. and we want. I mean, even if it's set in the 1960s, we want it to be a a, a show for today. Mm -hmm. I mean, it has to represent yeah. today, and how we do that. Yeah, that's what we discussed the most. Yeah, yes. yeah. I was just about um, telling uh, Ralphie here to, you know, call other girls, you know, um, but, but you. you. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. so, do you want to start, start that? Doing? I should do that. Yeah. 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 I should start do, calling me by you. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Suddenly there's different, <laughs> different way. Yeah. yeah. By you, by you, yeah. This is this is an amazing <laughs> series. Actually, yeah. I just watched the first episode because the love story I've heard is really tragic. Yeah. And I don't think I can handle it right now, but I will watch it. No, no, okay, no. But the love story is really tragic, and I think a lot of people relate to it. Of that's course. why. Yeah. That's why this is this. Okay. Brace uh, yourself, bra I'm. I'm Brace it's yourself. getting there. No. You have to be strong <laughs> <laughs> to go okay. through it. Thank you. <laughs> Last question, Marini. Um, what's your next project after this? You know, you made a big impact mm -hmm. to the industry, and what's next for you? Oh, wow. that's the new pressure, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, on to the next. <laughs> on to the next. <laughs> I mean, I, I. Um, the last three years, every year I always releasing something. Started from uni, and then yeah. last year was before now and then, and then this year is get get attack. It was kind of like a very heavy three years for me. I kind of ha want to, to have a little breath. <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> it's nice to take some time off. Sometimes. Yes, yeah. but I'm um, start writing something, mm -hmm. but I'm not gonna rush into things. Is it about women again? Women empowerment? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. If you need a special cast, you know, someone that is um, good um, in crying, you can you can always cast Ralphie. <laughs> thank you. Crying. Thank you very much. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much, Madini, for coming here. So congratulations. Much. Congratulations. Congratulations. I mean, all of my friends are talking about it. Yes. They told me to Ralphie, watch it right now. I said not right now, but I will. <laughs> I need time. I need time I need to time. watch something. I'm sorry. Yeah, otherwise you will be in the studio like. <laughs> exactly, I don't want that to happen. No. But yeah, no, just, just go watch it right now. It is on Netflix, Siglet Girl or Gadis Kretek. Uh, it has uh, 
eight, five episodes? Five, 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 five episodes. Five episodes. Can binge it in a day. Yeah, of And then course. go talk to it with your friends. Yeah. It's really inspiring. It's, it's just an amazing series. Yeah, just make sure it. you have um, a box of tissues next to you. <laughs> right. We're up for another short break. In the meantime, don't forget to follow our social media accounts if you haven't already. We're on Instagram, X, and YouTube at C Today News. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Thank you so much, Medite. Thank you. Thank you.